deeper than rap. Uh. Another episode of Deeper Than R.E.O.P. So uh, we've been, it's been a minute, but we back, man. Fuck it. Uh, I feel like a little time was necessary, though. I mean, with, especially with the passing of DMX. R.I.P. Yeah, so next one we should probably do a DMX album. Yeah, I was thinking that, you know. Um, when his album come out, he's dropping a new album next week. I'm going to review that shit. Okay. And that's what I'm going to do. Finally do my Get Him On The Floor. Okay. So I'm okay. gonna review the album and then I'm gonna cut oh. to get him on the floor. Nah, not in that episode. You gotta <coughs> be on the R.A.O.P. Uh, on the um. Well, it's for the Patreon people, so I can't do it like on the episode. Right, right. I could probably like do it probably like on a live stream, report like record that part right. and then and add it the cut the cut to the yeah. page the total whatever. I got you. But yeah, you get me. But yeah, it's it's necessary though. But yeah, on this episode we reviewing. We'll Lupe just, Fiasco, yeah. uh, Food and Liquor, first album. Yeah, Lupe's uh, debut album. Debut, so. the T is silent. <laughs> <laughs> what I said, debut? Yeah. I feel like niggas say T, put the T on it. I don't know. I don't know. It ain't I, brute, nigga. <laughs> they brute. <laughs> oh, yeah, debut album. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Food and Liquor, man. So I always ask you... When was the last before we did this? When was the last time you heard this album? Mm, it's probably been it's twenty one now. Probably been about four years. I say four about years. four years. For me, I want to say about two years. Okay, maybe about probably not even two years. And I, I want to feel like I feel like I just recently listened to it, like not too long ago. I can say I've I've I've, I've listened to like songs, but nah, like I ain't listened. Not to the full it. album, right? Oh, right okay, okay, right. I respect that. Like, <clears throat> now full album has probably been some time, but it's always the the, the favorite songs on right, like, right, right. I so, listen to them within like yeah, a yeah, year, recency, a year, yeah. year or so. But uh, yeah, food and liquor, man, really good album. Do you think it's a classic? I do, I do, and um, I'll, I'll be honest to say this. So, for this episode, I sent um, out of uh, uh, three or four albums, and I say, you know, this these are these are my selections for my my next few submissions. Mm-hmm. Um, I think on the last episode we did, I said I was gonna do one from each, um, you know, each side of the nation and such. Yeah. Um, so we started with the Midwest. Uh, Lupe for me is a lyrical genius. You know yeah. what I'm saying? When I first heard Lupe, the first time I ever heard Lupe, I feel like I heard him first time most people heard him, or unless you just like deep in the scene. First time I ever heard Lupe was on Kanye West Touch the Sky yep. in 2005. I heard that nigga rap. I was like, man, who is this nigga, man? Lupin the Third. Yeah, I, I was heard. like, yo, is that his name? I wasn't even hip to anime at that point, yeah. so he really put me on to some shit. Like, <laughs> um, so when 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 I sent this album over, I was questioning. Today is the body of work a classic, right? Mm-hmm. I spent a little time listening to it, and man, I gotta say, like, yo, it's then the test of time isn't even a question. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. It definitely uh, held up and whatnot. To from when I heard it the first time, it didn't age at all. It right. Just, it still felt good. Whether it would be uh, taken in, if it was to come out today, I'll probably get to that in the end. But but as far as the album goes, we just go through the history of the album. It's so, like so every time you know how you say. Uh, Gotta have an O for every time, every episode. Yeah. I just thought of one. So, you know, Lupe, uh, manager, chill, he got arrested for selling drugs. So, I guess the O stand for O's, I guess. The ounces. ounces. <laughs> that, he, that he had in the trunk. So, that's the O for this there episode. It is. <laughs> Always come up with it randomly. Yeah, yeah. so we lean, a- on, we lean on Elk for the facts, and uh, I'm here for the opinion. Uh, <laughs> so, right. what you got for us with this album? All right, so this album came out September 19, 2006. Do you remember where you was at during that time? Uh, that was a couple of days after my birthday. Um, 2006, I was... No, I don't. I don't remember. 
I don't remember what I was into in that brief period. I just know I was outside. We was definitely in high school during that time. Yep, yep, 16. Um, I remember buying this album. No story.